So here we go, Pino Black back here and giving you some more facts and data. And as you can see, things don't. And the only thing is healthy or whatever unhealthy is the idea that we are spiking here on our heart attacks of the sun. And basically, no. But the idea that either something is bumping in electronically with other electrical activity from another planet or moon or object, no matter what, something is making the sun's electrical and CMEs, okay, these are recorded, these are CMEs, coronal mass ejections that the sun does, and basically we had damn close to an X right here in an M class, and they all three are M class, and like I repeat again, the sun is going at a certain rhythm. We know that we hear a drum roll all the time, we've heard it, and more than likely every time one of these, more than likely it sounds probably like a huge bang or something, okay, because it's a huge CME. Uh, coronal mass ejection, uh, as some of the people on some of the channels, that the idea that I guess that must be a sound bite that brings up certain coronal mass ejection. Can we pull that up again? No. Sound response, possibly. Now, what we have for sure is some people on certain propaganda shows saying, and they're females, and I don't know if they're. Uh, if supervisors get fired or this or that or whatever, but anyway, they're talking about coronal mass ejaculations, which are talking about the sun, and yes, squirt, and then we end up being born, ladies and gentlemen. It's called re uh, creation, I guess, basically, to the factual, 1,000% fact. Okay, so earthquakes, this is your, like I've showed in the earlier videos that have already got up, and yes, our ass end has moved a hell of a lot. So Earth is real sexy down here, shaking its ass, because 2012, and this is only a little short time ago, folks. It's not a year ago, okay? It was just back here in November on our plot, on our butt, on Earth scooting through space at more than 66,000 miles an hour, which is 6,000 miles an hour faster, and we have CMEs, and we have ass shake. And wow, we have ass shake, okay? And this is back up working, so you see where your ass, and I showed this in the earlier video. Uh, I'm going to go back to looking at that volcano, and you keep an eye on your CMEs here from space. I don't know if anybody's had any power transformers go down or anything like that in any areas of anything anywhere. So there you go. There is your date. Okay, and then when you see it, anything that's going to be around by Earth, which is another yellow spot, the idea that that's your date and time to freeze it when you watch the video and try to figure out, and you can watch it in my other video just before this one that's uploading now, I believe, and I think it's Hoyle, uh Truth, Bino Black, okay, and then so this is telemetry here again, and this is basically the same from the last video also, just in case you missed it, but we've got stuff going on out there, and I want to go look at the volcano, and just look at some jet stream weather and so forth, and it is, you know, jet streams are changing all the time, then that's it. There's nothing illegal about watching the weather. It's not porn. Either that or I guess it's time for everybody to jump on porn and not pay attention to what's with the weather. Okay? And the heat index, you want to check that out because the temperatures around the United States are at record highs. Okay? And they're like 8 degrees higher in a lot of areas than like a 92 year and 98, 100 year histories. Okay? So watch your jet streams, and we all know about CPMs and RADs, and don't scare little kids, and keep it adult-like, and everything's cool. So there's the truth, and there's some weather there, recent maps, and let's go ahead and look at that volcano over in Japan and see what's going on there. The reason I want to come back to this is because this star that's right there, now it's going to get black there, and I'm not going to be able to see it, but that should move away, that volcanic ash should move away, and you can still see as that volcanic ash is there, there sure is something bright right there on top of the volcano, isn't there? Okay, this is a live feed from Japan. Okay, and then you see other star action around, flopping around the, that volcano and mountain and everything here. And also here you'll see some action. Here there's some action over here. So watch the whole screen and you'll see what you see. And then I'm sorry that I, did, I didn't mean to block that star there. That's probably still going to be there after that double click thing goes away. If it shows up on the monitor or not, I'm not sure. Don't waste my time looking at that. Just throw these damn videos up. Okay, so these are fast. Uh, orbiting moons or whatever around planets or stars, anything, they're objects out in space and they are beaming down here on Earth and they cause stuff and also there is radii from Fuka Fudge up in our atmosphere everywhere, CPM and RADs, that counts per minute of RADs, okay? These are not radii, ladies and gentlemen, these are radiations from objects in space, asteroid belts, quasars, phasars, lasers, lasers we make, ladies and gentlemen. 
Uh, no, there is not uh, some anything. If there's an alien, we will we will stuff it. And when I say we, we will stuff one of them at least to study. And we'll do a lot of the other ones. But there isn't. There's nothing. It's objects in space. There's been plants, stars, moons, all kinds of objects in space, mass objects. UFO stands for you are effed over. Okay? UFO does still also mean unidentified flying objects. So if you want to be a UFO nut, why don't you start saying UIFO? Okay? Because UIFO, I don't believe in him. I don't even really believe in UFOs. I do understand that an unidentified flying object is usually named a UFO. Okay, and basically these aren't. These are stars and planets that are known in constellations and so forth and so on. Asteroid belts, all kinds of stuff that anytime NASA or anything control can always change the name of what something is. Okay, the number, the anything. Okay, so astronomers, astrologers, and everything, the stuff's still out there on the internet. Libraries, the whole nine yards, go to your local telescope, pay money to go see what's on there, see if you can get in and look at what's going on, or this, that. Just don't bug them. Uh, I think they're a government employer. You probably get in trouble for doing something like that. If you go too far or something like that. There's plenty of places, colleges, and all that stuff like that. And there's stuff on the internet you can go around and check and see all this action going on. Okay, this is happening at a volcano over in Japan. Okay, and uh, anyway, all this stuff's happening. This feed's still going pretty good, and now it looks like it kind of froze up. So basically, we're changed to go something else. Now, either a bandwidth or a satellite camera or a satellite is not reporting. It seems. Uh, and I do know in the past we could, we've known enough that they there's stuff that they're blocking. Now it still could be just blocking, but it kind of seems by looking at this that the idea since it moves over to here that at this point in time right now it may be doing both blocking something they don't want us to see plus also possibly maybe one camera shut down or maybe it's got messed up by a CME action because let's look at this and that was all basically somewhat the truth but you see the truth because the idea that, that if it was blocking well it's not blocking the same not blocking the same position not the same blockage now, we know that objects move up there and there's layers, layers, layers. Okay, so you got the clock and you know this is all footage and everything, and we're going to go back. And you're going to see an object. And I basically step here and we'll see an object. There you go, you should see this here. Okay, now more than likely, what is it? Because it moves left. Okay, so it's not, and it moves up and down. So it's not, and if it is, then it's a 3D hologram of what we've seen before, okay, but it sure gives you an idea of how huge something is out there, okay, so uh, let's let this play, well, I think I'm just going to end up going through this, because basically what's going on is we've got some massive uh, BS going on, because I'll go through here real fast, let me get this queued up, okay, somebody's trying to get the Germans mad at Bino, which is never going to work, because Germans love me. So anyway, check this out. We've always been seeing this object, right? Okay. But now, someone stateside or somewhere has propagated this, okay, into these shots down there or where? Because we have never seen that before, okay? It matches bullshit that we had people tell us in the past, and as they don't like that, because we're exposing the truth, folks, okay? So somebody's playing games either down there or up here. Yes. Because we have never seen that before. Because Bino busted somebody's balls before of trying to make it people believe that it was something. A radar dome, anything. But as you know from camera shots, and wait, basically I'll take you to other shots that you can see the station, and you know that there's no portable this, that. There's not even a portable flipping outhouse down there. My German friends from there will gladly tell you that. So somebody's playing ape shit games, okay? Somebody's flipping around because that was an actual object, space object, this, that, or whatever, up in space in a shadow, and you can still even see a lightly part of it there, okay? But then you get this horse-made shit, whether it's either made, propagated from down there, some agency did it, or it's been superimposed, and it sure looks like to me that it's superimposed on the screen from a feed either here, there, or anywhere around the world. Hello, Quantico, Virginia. Anyway, so, I don't know. 
Is it there or is it where? Because this is BS. This has never been seen before. Okay, And you already seen the truth a minute ago because this is... That's the truth. That's an actual object. Okay, So how can a something get a 3D hologram? <laughs> and then they're going to blame it. Oh, it's because it's down at the South Pole. That's why. Yeah, all right. Lick my ass once again. Kiss it too. Okay, let's go back and show you because basically the truth is the idea that all these camera angles, you know from looking at the station, which you can see it in this shot, that there's no such object on the ground down there. Okay, so let's see what this movie's got for action coming through it. So somewhere, someone's superimposing camera feeds on super feeds. And now you can see that there was an object, something that came up there above the uh, flipping station. So we'll let this let this play out. And I'm going to save some tape and come back to that. Uh, and we know there's more than one sun. You'll see that from this action down there, too. And let me scoot up so you see the clock. So you know that we're feeding you the basically the truth 24-7. Bino Black is. Anybody messes with my videos, their ass will be hanging in something. And doo -doo -doo -doo, the truth bleeds. The truth bleeds. So I don't know who's messing with my German scientists' friends down there. I will go to Germany. I will go anywhere I want, anywhere, at any time I want. I have friends all over the flipping world because Bino Black is a big prick and he gets along with a lot of people. So anyway, now we are going to see that object because we're going to go ahead and we are going to step and freeze at that object if we can see what it came up over top of the station because we know that that's the station or a station or one of the somethings, okay? So there's no flipping anything standing out there and it didn't get up and walk, okay? Water towers don't walk. Satellite domes don't walk. GPS domes don't walk because you don't want them to move because they're all GPS locked in. As you've seen, you just seen some good action there. So let's come back. We should be able to back up and see on that. More factual truth here, being no black, and there you go. So we're going to zoom in on that. So check your constellation maps and see what was down here at this time because there you at 400%. And there's your time and your date stamp over there to write, and I'm going to zoom in on that some more. And I'm not being stupid here, folks. Yes, it could possibly be the moon. Okay? So. Uh, doesn't really matter. We just get a shot of it coming by. But that dome is a bunch of BS shit. That water tower, whatever, it's a bunch of BS, okay? So, because there is something that actually makes a shadow down there. So that's this shot right there, and I know you pretty much can trust me, so basically we're going to step through this. There you go, coming across the sky, and then we get weather, so forth and so on, darkness, so forth and so on. So let's try to see another shot view from down there, another, ang uh, another camera, different direction, okay? Now, it seems to me what they've got is they have a mobile lab that they might be chasing objects on sleds. Because if you see in this shot, you see somewhat of this stuff here, okay? And if we've seen that that actual object in space out in the sky of Earth that goes by, okay, they might be chasing after it with a cart with instruments on it, okay? Because check this shadow out here that gets more of an honest of what possibly might be moving around there, okay? As you get that. Okay, so either that or those are moons or objects from out in space. But to me, it kind of seems that maybe there is a telemetry sled that they're pulling around or something like that. So this is very interesting footage from down there. Yeah, so I'll start this, let this play. Because we know that, that what we've seen up on the other shot, where we've been seeing that moon for a long time down there, moon, planet, object, darkness, up in space that comes around and makes a shadow on the Earth's surface down there on the ice. Okay, so if anything, they're maybe pulling a cart around with telemetry and tracking it when it comes by or something. Who knows? Okay, so this gives you a factual of at least what your eyes can see from down there. Let's see if I blow this up a little bit. Because you've already seen it at the other, and there you go. There's something being brought by or something. Either that or there's something also, there's something different maybe up in the sky. Okay. Uh, do you know that we have caught satellite footage of the new instrument satellite or whatever that they have that is doing the observations of the crust of Antarctica? Uh, because we caught some of that in the uh, Murphy station or something like that. If I'm saying the station wrong, I apologize, stuff like that. But if you watch my videos, I'll go back one of these days and see if I get time. But I really don't have time for that. If anybody doesn't watch my videos enough, we caught that one of those satellites that does uh, x-ray and monitor the... Uh, ice shelf down there on top of Antarctica down there and so forth because they used to have a plane under the spook works out of the desert uh, 
used to go down there and cruise around and take observations of that ice pack down in Antarctica.